Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, we are going to learn practice set 2.5. To solve this practice set 2.5, we need to learn some new concepts along with something which we have studied in the previous exercise. Like in practice set 2.5, we had studied uh, so how to solve the sums by using the formula method. Yes, and the formula was x is equal to minus p plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. This was something that we have studied in the previous exercise. Yeah. So today also we are going to continue with that only. So what we are going to study today is nature of roots of a quadratic equation. What are roots? Children, roots are nothing but the value of x, y or whatever variable is given. The values which you find of it, yeah, those are called as the roots of the quadratic equation. Like for example, if your quadratic equation is like this, ax square plus bx plus e is equal to 0. We all know that this is a standard form of the equation. So if we have such kind of equation and then we get two types of answer. One, that the value of x or the root, this root, one root will be a minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac. Here also we will have minus b square minus 4 ac these are the two roots that we get yes so what we do is we concentrate on this b square minus 4 ac which is there under the root sign whenever we get such kind of sums what we do we find out the value of b square minus 4 ac first How, from where are we going to get b a and c b a and c if you can see on your screen we are going to get from here this this is the value of a this is the value of b and this is the value of c so when we are going to substitute these values of a, b and c in this b square minus 4 ac, then there are chances that we will get certain numbers. Yeah? Sometimes we will get the number, a positive number as when we solve this. Sometimes we will get a negative number and sometimes we will get 0. Yeah. So based on this, we will decide what kind of roots are there. Like for example, if the b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. Real and equal means the whatever value you will get by substituting here, the same value you will get here also. And the number will be real number. Okay. So the roots are going to be equal if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Second thing is if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Okay. If that means it will be a positive number. In that case, the roots are going to be real and unequal. Means you are going to get real number. Also, they are going to be unequal. Means this value and this value will be two different numbers. They won't be the same numbers. Okay. And finally, if you have b square minus 4 is less than 0, that means it will be a negative. And in that case, we are going to say that they are not the real numbers. So henceforth, when you are going to solve the sums, we are going to make use of this knowledge. And we are going to solve the sums. We will learn something more. B square minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation. Okay, so this b square minus 4ac is specifically known as the discriminant and it is denoted by this symbol. It's like a triangle it looks, yeah, it is called as delta. Okay, it's, it's a Greek symbol. So, uh, yeah, Greek word. So, uh, delta is something that we use to denote the uh, b square minus 4ac. Means every time you don't have to write down b square minus 4ac, if you show the symbol, that's enough. Okay, so proceed further and learn something new. Now as you can see on your screen, if the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus e are alpha and beta, then what I have done is instead of writing the x, I have written here alpha and beta. I have alpha bola ek root ko and this ka beta. Yeah, I have named them by different uh, names. Okay, alpha and beta. So in that case, what will happen? If I, if I add both of them, see here, if I add alpha plus beta, means if I add this whole thing, with this whole thing, the answer that I get is minus b upon a. What is minus b upon a? Minus b will be this number and a will be this. Okay. And if you multiply, once we are adding a alpha plus beta and if you are multiplying, then you will get value as c upon a. So if you see the denominators is are same, a and a. The only thing is when you are adding, you are getting answer as minus b upon a. Why are we getting that? Because uh, this b, this b is something that we'll get here minus b, and in the next when we multiply, we'll get this c, c upon a. So this formula also we are going to use when we are going to solve the uh, sums in the next exercise. Also, sometimes what happens? See till now we were find we were given the roots, and, uh, sorry, we were given the equation, and we were finding out the roots of the equation. What I mean to say is that we were given a quadratic equation and we were finding out the values of x, y, m and whatever was given. 
those are called as roots right so in case of that if i say in place of that if i use alpha and beta as the roots so what are they saying is that if you are given the roots means if i have been told that alpha is 3 and beta is 4 and then if they ask you make the quadratic equation out of this means they are giving you the answer and they are telling you to find out the quadratic equation so in that case we are making use of this formula which is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0 okay so this formula we are going to use a formula is nothing but see if you uh, try to compare this normal formula was what a x square plus b x plus c right so instead instead of a there is nothing here instead of b there is alpha plus beta and instead of c there is only alpha like consider like this this x square remains this x also remains understanding so what we have here is we are going to remember the formula first will be x square first term is going to be x square then in the next one it is going to be alpha plus beta x and in the next one it will be plus alpha into beta you need to learn this formula children okay and this we are going to use in our equations so this is all that we need to for solve our next exercise so let us move towards that 